Morning, Whiteside. Please stand for a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Sam Smith. Happy birthday. The, the sixth graders will continue with the oral reading fluency assessment today, Friday, May 6th. I'm, ooh, God, I'm so sorry. May 5th. <laughs> the spring play production, Alice in Wonderland, will be this Friday, May 6th, at 7 p.m. in our Whiteside Gymnasium. Tickets will, will be $2 for adults and $1 for students and preschool children. The dress rehearsal will take place at 10 a.m. this morning, and our entire school will get to watch the performance. We are very excited to have the opportunity to watch the performance. We know our students, actors, and actresses will be great. Our Whiteside Middle School band will be performing at Six Flags tomorrow, May 5th. Best of luck to our band. We know they will do an outstanding job. The feeder track meet will also be taking place on May 9th, Monday, at 12 p.m. Go Warriors! It is that time of the year to start planning for our next 8th grade DC trip. There will be a 7th grade parent meeting for all of those who are interested in attending the trip. The meeting will take place on May 9th at 6.30 p.m. in the library. The Alice in Wonderland Spring Production will be performed for our elementary school students on May 10th. The band spring concert will take place on May 10th at 7 p.m. And now let's cover all the positive news that we have at Whiteside Middle School. We have outstanding writers in eighth grade. Congratulations to Maris Ensley for winning her story, The Trees Family Eventful Thanksgiving, a witty and somewhat relatable story about a family's Thanksgiving dinner that would make you laugh at their crazy antics. Maris has won young authors all four years. Our first runner-up is Simon Stock. Simon wrote a thrilling story about an undercover detective's encounter with a criminal and maintaining peace in a community. Alex Randolph was our second runner-up with her story, The Forsaken. It is a utopian story of a can Canadian boy being selected for a mysterious leadership role among his peers. Alex has also won young authors all four years. Congratulations to our eighth grade young authors. We have nine athletes qual that qualify for the state track meet that will be held on May 14th at, Car at Carterville High School. For the boys team, Dalen Donaldson qualified for state and hurdles, Noah Moyes qualified for 100 meter dash, our 4x4 relay team consisting of Caden Owens, Xavier Reynolds, Dalen Donaldson, and Darius Wells qualified as well. For the girls team, Jade Singleton qualified for state with first place finish in the 8th grade 100 meter. Gianna Efron qualified for state in the 7th grade 100 meter dash, and the girls Four by one relay team with Jade Singleton, Kennedy Winfrey, Tiana T Tanaja Tiller, and Gianna Efron qualified for the state track meet. Go Warriors! Happy, Happy Friday. Friday! And to end this all off with a joke, what is the best <laughs> advice you can get from a librarian? Be yourself! <laughs> You're right! No! Yeah. No! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> no.